Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the fly-in French girls. <laughs> Bonjour, mesdames. <laughs> okay, thank you. Merci beaucoup. For <laughs> The competition is over the, uh, in all events and uh, we, we did not have we did not have a four-way women competition here but I guess the open class competition Sophia was good enough here in Dubai for you. Yes, I think at, finally it's a good idea not to have a female competition because uh, we can compete with open uh, open teams and we can show to everyone that women are doing quite the same than boys. That is a wonderful statement, Sophia. That is Sophia Picou, by the way. She is the reigning four-way world champion. Let's go straight to Christine Malny, her teammate with the French girls last time. Christine, do you think the same way that the four-way women event, we don't really need that and it's good to be in the open class? Uh, yes, I think that it's good uh, uh, we, we are in an open class. Um, because uh, we we compare it <laughs> uh, with a <the> boy, <laughs> and you have shown very clearly that you can compete with the boys. One quick question, Michel Leno, what are you doing here? It's an indoor competition. I support my girls, <laughs> and after, of course, wag, and I jump with uh, her. Michel Leno is the team videographer for the fly-in team. So I'm saving the, the, the newest for last. We wait with Pamela. First we go to Clementine Le Bouhec, uh, Bouhec, the member who came new into the team at the end of the 2014 season. Clementine, how is it going? It's going very well. Um, I'm really happy with Pamela. I did not expect it was uh, uh, going so fast in the um, uh, in the progression so I'm really really happy <laughs> okay so, okay so let's talk about this progression you were recently I think it was three weeks or four weeks ago you were in Prague for the world indoor championship and they had a female event you competed with the Golden Knights and you were 45 points behind the Golden Knights after 10 rounds Pamela, Pamela Lisa Zhu, the newest member of the team, how did you feel after losing so badly in Prague? Oh, it was really hard <laughs> and the challenge uh, uh, becomes more and uh, more difficult and uh, now today it's a really good challenge uh, because we are with open category and uh, the Golden Knights are not... Uh, uh, Très, très devant. So far ahead, yeah. So uh, we arrive. <laughs> so I guess everybody is very happy about. It. So let's let's talk about this elephant in the room, the Golden Knights. Um, Forty-five points in Prague. How much was it now? Here. Uh, just eight points ahead. So you must feel very encouraged, motivated, confident gives you momentum. What, what do you think about the future from here on forward? Um, I think we're gonna be okay for Chicago. We're gonna be ready. We just need to learn to fly together. How did it happen anyway? Let's go back to Sofia. Now, what happened between Prague and Dubai? <laughs> Honestly, nothing. <laughs> no, no, we didn't train between Prague and now, just 30 minutes uh, uh, last week. So I, I, I think we just um, realized that we need to do what we know in the competition, not better. We cannot go very fast because we don't know how to fly together very well. So we just need to make the same than uh, during the training and we try to, to do so and it works. So it's, uh, we are very happy because now we show our level 
And in Prague, it was a real bad, comp I think, a bad competition right. because uh, the there were always some mistakes, some busts, some one lock. So it's, it's not our possibility now. It's okay. But nothing happened between the two competitions. Just, I think everyone think about Prague and was very disappointed. So now we just say, okay, no more. <laughs> you have two new team members. How did you select them? How did, how did you select them? How did you decide first Clementine and then Pamela? Uh, we discussed about this with uh, Jeremy. It was a selectioner uh, uh, one year ago. Uh, in fact, it was a difficult moment because we didn't know that Lawrence will go to the open, uh, open category and there were three girls available. Anaïs, Clementine and Pamela. So we discussed about Jeremy and we made a choice and he made another choice uh, as well for the second girl who came in, uh, in the team. And finally Anaïs uh, quit the team, so now we have uh, the three girls with us. <laughs> so it's perfect, in fact. And uh, Pamela and Clementine, you know each other from a previous team, right? Um, yeah, three years ago. We are yeah, it's the third year. We are, yes, we were um, two years in Espoir, and so, yes, we <laughs> we are very friends. <laughs> and now the opportunity, well, did you have the same slots when you were competing with Artemi? Have you always been a center outside, Pamela? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> what was your place because I was in uh, point. Point. point so uh, point, point to center outside but was both in the front piece yes. Yes. and Clementine same slot or new slot no same slot I always, I always been uh, inside center with Artemis and Nemesis the generation with uh, Pamela Anaïs Marie and me so now you have actually the newbies in the center and uh, the cha champions on the outside slot. Did that happen naturally? Did you talk about it? I think for the first um, for the first team with Anaïs and Clementine, so I, I ex already explained, we discussed a long time about this. What should we do? Put the two new girls in center. Finally, it works. And for Pamela, it was the same discussion when, uh, when she took the place uh, of Anaïs. Uh, do we need to change between um, between uh, Christine and Pamela? Do, do, do we need to change the, pl the place to have Christine at the center very strong? But we decide to keep this um, as it is. And uh, again, I think we made a good choice because the competition is very good. So now we have to learn the exit from the plane and to learn how to be strong in the in the reality in the sky. But I think for a first uh, competition, a real good, great competition, it's a good start. So the World Air Games are coming up and it's an outdoor competition. Um, Christine, do you think um, this, your team is stronger at an indoor competition or at an outdoor competition? Uh, no, in uh, indoor. Indoor? Yes. What do you like more, indoor or outdoor? Ah, uh, the boss. <laughs> yes. Um, so, what are the plans for next year, uh, Sophia? Next year we start again the training very fast. We have um, we have a deal with a tunnel in Belgium, flying. So we will start training in tunnel in January, and then we start jumping here in Dubai in February. We go back in tunnel and then we go back in the sky in D land, I think, and we will. Uh... And we will see you for the Shamrock Showdown there, which will be a showdown with the Golden Knights again. They are coming, we know that, so that is exciting to know. Yes, yes, we would like to, to meet the Golden Knight uh, as soon as possible. Not every month, of course, but uh, we can be. Uh, we can, uh, be in battle with uh, with the girls here, and then in a few months in Dylan, I think it's good uh, to be prepared for Chicago. Okay, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Good luck at the World Air Games next week. 
and uh, then I will, we will see you next time in Florida, or well, hopefully next week also on the other drop zone there. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.